This is the Alpine Hypercar project and I've got access all areas. Let's go. Software for Alpine's Hypercar is as complicated as you would expect. Now I'm no expert, but today I'm gonna have a little sneak around and see what I can find out for you guys. So far what I've learned is that this software testing actually involves a lot of hardware too, like these injectors here. The ECU is checking that it sends the right amount of fuel to each injector every single time. This here is showing the crankshaft rotation and then when every time the signal tells the injector to work, it shows the trace on the graph of the fuel being ejected into the engine. When Alpine are developing a new race car, there are three steps to it. Starting with the software on the computer here, then going to the hardware in loop, and then finally the driver in loop as well. All of that data goes through one of these. This is the master ECU, but there are over 20 of these on the car, controlling everything from the gearbox, the brakes, and to the steering assistance. This screen shows a visualization of the software and the hardware interacting in loop. It's actually doing a real-time lap of Le Mans. So it has all of the variables in there, the clutch, the brake pedal, the engine RPM, and it even has an automatic driver. They can test 8,000 variables and 10,000 calibration parameters, and this can all be updated in under one millisecond. This is just testing that every condition and every strategy that they use works correctly. This saves thousands of miles on track and also any costly mistakes. We might be in the laboratory today, but once they get to the track, they can still see up to 2,000 parameters live and make any changes if they see anything becoming a problem. Interesting stuff, but I think I'll stick to the driving.